Good evening and welcome to the Daily Market Update. The DSEX slipped to the red zone today as it fell by 40.55 points or 0.68% today after a two-day winning streak and settled at 5,901 points. Market turnover was 5.8 billion Bangladeshi takas, which is a decrease of 4.88% compared to the previous trading day. Walton High Tech, GPH Icebat and Safe Power Tech from the industrial sector, Robbie and Bangladesh Submarine Cable Company from the telecommunications sector, and United Power Generation, Summit Power and Tita's Gas from the fuel and power sector mainly dragged the market down today. In terms of sector-wise return, almost all the sectors were in the red zone today, in which the IT sector posted the highest loss of 1.79%, and the textile sector registered the second highest loss of 1.78% today. Five industrial and three textile companies were among the top 20 losers today. Asiatic Laboratories, Rupali Bank and Crystal Insurance registered the highest gain while AB Bank, New Line Clothings and AFC Agro Biotech were the top losers today. Rupali Bank registered as one of the highest gainers today, following Ministry of Finance authorization to increase its authorized capital to 2,500 crore. There is no publicly disclosed price-sensitive information for the price change of the remaining stocks. The trading volume of Dulamia Cotton Spinning Mills People's Leasing and Golden Harvest increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. There is no publicly disclosed material reason for the volume increase of these stocks. Top two news today, ADB plans a $400 million loan to bolster Bangladesh's transition post-LDC status, addressing business climate and logistics. Bangladesh anticipates commitment by June, building on previous $400 million support for resource mobilization and empowering small businesses. This initiative underscores proactive steps towards overcoming challenges and enhancing economic resilience. In December 2023, Bangladesh's foreign debt crossed the $100 billion dollars threshold, marking a 4.24% rise, primarily attributed to increased borrowing by the public sector. The government's share of this debt amounted to $79.69 billion, representing 80% of the total external debt, according to information from the Bangladesh Bank. Over the last 10 years, the country's external debt has experienced a dramatic increase of over 200%, skyrocketing from $29.3 billion in June 2013 to an astonishing $100 billion by the end of 2023. That's all for today. Thank you.